EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Phil Frazier, senior producer for Madden NFL 11. I'm Mike Young, art director for Madden NFL 11. Ian Cummings, creative director, Madden NFL 11. I'm Anthony Stevenson, senior product manager for the Madden NFL franchise. I love telling the, uh, the story about when we finished 10 last year, right? And we're watching all the games with John and you know we're all excited that we just got the game wrapped up and we think it's one of the best ones we've ever done. And then, I don't know who, I think it was you, you asked John, you're like, you know, how, how can we, we're about to go back and start planning for 11. How can we make the game more authentic? And we've got, you know, he's got his eight direct TV screens and I mean, you tell it better than I do. Well, the experience in itself was incredibly surreal. I mean. First of all, you're in this incredible setup, you know, back at his production facility where he's got, you know, huge TVs and one big one where you're watching kind of the game of the moment. You got John Madden, of course, talking about football and you know, everything that he wants to see from more shotgun to, to more screens. And then you know, we ask that question. It's like, hey, we're in design mode for Madden 11. Where do we go? You know, what, what, what's key to authenticity? And, and immediately he pointed out something that I think caught us all by surprise, something that's really been uh, consistent in Madden for the last 20 plus years, and that's our play call system. It's, it's been there from the beginning, and uh, he called out the fact that it wasn't truly authentic. And uh, when we took a step back, we we're like, "Wow, you know, he's actually right. You know, the fact that we provide a user with 300 plus plays in any given situation is not how an NFL coach calls a play." And it was kind of a wake-up call for us because we immediately came back to the office, started to do a prototype. We actually had one of our designers, John Taylor. He took play call out of the game. I mean, immediately just said, "Well, this, how stupid is this idea?" You know, that was the question we were all asking ourselves. We took it out of the game, and it was again that light bulb went off, and it was like, "Wow, there's actually something to this." And it kind of all it snowballed from there. Yeah, I mean, that that's that day was really <clears throat> the precursor for for simpler, quicker, deeper, and I think like. Fans, when we say simpler, they freak out. Like I, I don't want, I don't want my game to be simpler. But when we went down at, to the um, to the owners' meeting, we were talking with all the coaches, and I was asking them about game planning. I said, you know, why that coaches sheet that you hold when you're calling plays? Why do you guys do it that way? And he said, because we have to simplify it. We we only have 40 seconds to make a play, and we have to choose the best play for that situation for our personnel. And so that's ultimately what you know we ended up doing. And I. You know, I think fans are definitely going to appreciate that. I think from a game uh, player perspective, is that day was amazing and that a buzz went through the entire building. Um, it sounds ridiculous, turn play call off, because every year we're like, how do we make play call easier or more authentic? Or Every year we're trying to manipulate that. And, you know, I think we were kind of stuck in this kind of range, like, oh, there's 20 years of history, we can't change too much. Um, so that day, it's like, you had people that are like, oh, I haven't played Madden for two years, I want to play it. And coming up, trying to find builds, and uh, it's really exciting, and I think what the people who at first were like, I'm one of the best Madden players in the entire world, why would I want the game to change, started to warm up to it when they felt, like you said, it is more like authentic, it's the most authentic way to do it. Yeah, I mean, let, let's be honest, right? I mean. We've talked about accessibility and, and it's tough for us, right? Because we do have an audience that is a little bit less experienced, but we have this audience that, that we're, that's so passionate about the game. This is the audience that made us who we are. We always have to make sure that they're first and foremost. But in the past, when we've thought about it, we've always, you know, we've created this, these kind of like siloed environments, like virtual trainer, things like that. And, but that's not what really people want, right? They don't want to feel like they have to go to this different experience because they're not educated enough in the game. And with game flow, the fact that these plays that are called are being called off of authentic NFL game plans, I think is what's, what's huge. I mean, I was playing yesterday with the Saints, and I swear they called nine straight passing plays. But that's what the Saints do. And you know, you think about like the Patriots Colts game last year where on fourth and two the Patriots passed. I mean, that was a really big deal and a big moment in the season, but that's authentic to the way the Patriots play. And so that could very easily happen with, with game flow. But you touch on like the game planning aspect of it. I mean, I think that for me, that's what the core is really gonna gravitate to. Madden NFL 11, August 10th, in stores everywhere. Anything else, guys? No, man, we're done. We're done? It's a wrap? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap.